U.S. Missile Defense Agency is pursuing anti-hisonic missile defenses on a war footing to combat the exacerbated hypersonic missile threat from Russia and China. In a significant breakthrough towards that goal, the Glide Phase Interceptor program has entered a critical stage. The U.S. has recently grown increasingly concerned about the threat posed by China and Russia's hypersonic weapons, especially given that it lags far behind both with its hypersonic weapons still in the development and testing stages. U.S. military leaders expressed serious concern when China tested a hypersonic glide vehicle HGV, in July 2021. Before re-entering the atmosphere and striking a terrestrial target, the glide vehicle traveled about 24,800 miles kilometers, in space, according to U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency Report DIA. Raytheon announced on September 20 that it had completed the prototype system requirements review phase. The statement added that contractors for the missile defense program and the government now have a common understanding of the requirements before going any further. After reaching a key milestone earlier this week, Raytheon Missiles and Space's proposal for the Missile Defense Agency's Glide Phase Interceptor program is set to enter the initial design phase, the company said in a press release. In November, MDA selected Northrop Grumman, Lockheed Martin, and Raytheon, an American defense company, to design the launch phase interceptor. Northrop Grumman received $18.95 million, Lockheed Martin received $20.94 million, and Raytheon Missiles and Defense received $20.97 million for the first development. However, Lockheed Martin was later kicked out of it. The Glide Phase Interceptor, a project of the Missile Defense Agency for Hypersonic Defense, is intended to shoot down incoming hypersonic missiles while they are in the glide phase of flight, which occurs between the launch phase and the terminal phase. The glide phase is when the missile is most vulnerable. We have a solid understanding of the requirements, and we are ready to continue development of the GPI, said Tay Fitzgerald, President of Strategic Missile Defense at Raytheon Missiles AMP, Defense, in a statement. This is a huge step towards giving this capability to fighters. Contracts signed by Northrop Grumman and Raytheon required them to continue to further develop and improve their idea leading to a review and prototype of the system requirements. The Missile Defense Agency requested $225 million for hypersonic missile defense in its fiscal 2023 budget request, while $318 million for other hypersonic defenses was among the unfunded requirements. MDA Deputy Chief Admiral John Hill stated that the increased funds would be used for the GPI in congressional testimony delivered in May. In addition to the GPI program, MDA is also pursuing space-based systems to combat difficult-to-trace enemy missile threats. In July, two new contracts for a constellation of missile surveillance satellites were announced by the U.S. Space Development Agency. The satellite system will be launched in 2025. MDA intends to create a layered defense system that combines satellite-based sensors, ground-based radar, and other military weapon systems into a single network to locate, track, and potentially intercept and destroy hypersonic missiles. The hypersonic boost glide weapon is launched into the atmosphere to glide at hypersonic speed before hitting its target. The greatest chance of intercepting the missile is in this glide phase of its trajectory, just before turning into its final high-speed drop. The glide phase interceptor intends to accomplish just that. Vice Admiral John Hill explained, so when you're in the glide phase, which is higher than the terminal, right? where hypersonic vehicles are likely to be in their most vulnerable phase, it's a pretty tough environment to get through. And you can't take an air defense weapon and operate it there, nor can you take a space weapon like the SM-3 and operate there, it's just a different environment. The GPI could potentially be integrated with the hypersonic and ballistic tracking space sensors, a new high-tech hypersonic weapons tracking satellite developed by MDA. The idea builds on a detailed network of targets and requirements to create a continuous track on a fast-moving hypersonic missile, from launch to remote control to satellite missile tracking technology. As a component of the layered missile defense system used by the Missile Defense Agency, the interceptor will be launched from the Navy's Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense Destroyer and integrated into the Aegis weapon system. Later, Several Pentagon officials acknowledged that China had also dropped a submunition during its hypersonic flight over the South China Sea. Even Russia, which has the most advanced hypersonic program, has yet to prove this capability. Moreover, given the increasing hostility between China and the U.S. in the Indo-Pacific region, 
China may even use its hypersonic missiles to attack American assets in the Pacific. Meanwhile, Russia has launched Gonzal hypersonic missiles to strike targets inside Ukraine, becoming the first country in the world to do so. While intercepting and tracking hypersonic missiles remains a formidable task due to their unpredictable trajectories, China has claimed to have developed the world's first anti-hysonic defense system, which would be capable of intercepting hypersonic missiles. The US, for its part, is doing everything it can to build a formidable defense against hypersonic missiles besides fielding its own hypersonic weapons, 